Hello again, everyone. I'm glad to continue my story of ICS. And uh, if you watched the last video, you would see how ICS had started and grew up to the point where the old site could no longer contain us. And as that video concluded, we were traveling down the road toward our new site, and that's where we're going to pick up the story today. So as we were moving to a new site, actually there was no road going to that particular site at that time. So we had to first grade a road and then we discovered we had to cross, we had to uh, cross a river so we needed to build a bridge. I don't know if we ever knew, I didn't know that a bridge could be built with containers. <clears throat> but we uh, were guided on how to do that and uh, reinforced the containers, put some card core around it, and covered it up. And that, up to today, is the road we drive across to get to the school. Then we, of course, we also had to pave the road. And eventually, the school uh, name got on the road. It's now called ICS Drive. Well, getting to the school, of course, there was a lot of digging for each one of the buildings, a lot of foundation, laying. The first building that went up was the admin building at the front of the compound. And uh, so when that was completed, I decided that I would move into the my office. This was maybe about June, July uh, of the year. And I wanted to be sure that we would move in by August. So that's why I moved my office. So the contractor would know I was serious about them finishing all the other buildings so that we could actually move the school. And at the front of the admin office, we always display the flags of each of the countries represented by our students for that particular year. That would range anywhere from 30 to almost 40 countries different countries each session and uh, we thank God because he's the one who has brought students from all over the world to us. Other buildings coming up, the art building that has the libraries and uh, music rooms, art rooms and then the main, uh, the biggest structure is actually this one. At the front we have uh, in the circular building the computer rooms downstairs and a hall we call Hope Hall upstairs. And then behind it, there are two triangular buildings. The one on the left houses the grades 1 to 5, and the one on the right houses grades 6 to 12. That's the biggest group. This again is the arts building when it was finished. And then this is the early years classroom going up. This is for students from ages two to five, playgroup through kindergarten. And that is the building as it is now <coughs> finished. And uh, we were meant to put up a high school building there. And uh, we didn't do it right away because we didn't need it. But later we found that that uh, structure, if we would completed would actually house the boarding students. So this is now our boarding house building. And then we have a cafeteria on the left and a large gymnasium behind it. And then of course our swimming pool, which was actually the last thing that was added to our compound. The PTA and the school join hands to, made, to make this swimming pool. And so ICS has become a complete um, compound. And of course, it's not about buildings, it's about students. So here are some of the children. When we just first 
opened the school. They were so excited. This space in the middle, we call it Peace Square. So they were enjoying that and being in the new school. Of course, a school involves a lot of activities, uh, a lot of programs, a lot of presentations, of sports, we have sports teams and we have clubs. And uh, then we do go to class also. So here we have some students on their way to class in the science lab, building projects, working. You see that our, our school is very much a hands-on school. This is actually a student doing the PowerPoint presentation to her classmates there. So we thank God for everything he's done for us. And uh, I would say this is like a dream come true, but the truth is it wasn't my dream. It was God's dream. Behind the buildings, you can see what we call the sports arena. We have a large uh, soccer field on the left. We have uh, two uh, courts that can be used for uh, tennis and badminton, volleyball. We have a basketball court there. And we just thank God for all he's done and for the privilege that he gives us to touch so many lives in International Community School. I hope you'll come and pay us a visit one day. Uh, once again, these are the directors of the school who had the vision and who, the two gentlemen who supported me through this whole venture. And of course, there always has to be a man behind a woman. So I want to really thank my husband for standing by me and helping me and guiding me through all of this adventure. So ICS, God's School. Look at the children he's given us, about 560 students now. And we just want to say that all the glory for all of this goes back to the Lord. Without him, we can do nothing. God's ways are always higher than our ways and better than our ways. His plans are far beyond what we could have planned. We just give him all the glory for all he has done. Thank you, Lord, for giving us the gift and the opportunities that you give to us every day in the International Community School. Please pray for us and pray for our students. And as I said, again, come and visit us. Ladies and gentlemen, the executive director has just invited you to visit the International Community School. The school is located at uh, Plot 75, Dakibu District, Abuja. This place is, um, when you leave the Jabi flyover on your way to the airport, just before you get to Major Oil on the way to SciTech, you will see a, something like half a kilometer down the road, a turn to your left. You will see many symbols there, but you will see ICS Drive. That road, just what, a half a kilometer or a kilometer down the road, taking you straight to the school. That is where the school is. That beautiful campus you saw, that's where it is located. Now, this school also is registered with two international bodies. The first is uh, the CIS, Council of International Schools. This is the body that regulates international schools in Europe. Secondly, it is registered with um, or accredited with MSA, Middle States Association. This is in the US. Very few, very few schools have double accreditation like that. Come and see us. Last week, we told you about the Akon that it became the oak. Now the oak is mature. Come and see it at the permanent site of International Community School. God specializes, as we said before, in taking nothing and making something out of them. This is the story of ICS. That is the same school that started with eight children, only two of them paying school fees. Now, over 560 children. God has given us in that school. God blesses. God advances. God promotes. God elevates. God 
lifts up. We did tell you about adventures that you you yourself could never engineer. Once you begin a walk with God, you will see things you never, never could have imagined yourself. This is our story. The story continues. We'll continue to bring you more stories as the days go on. Now, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. That is very important to us. Please try also and forward this video to your friends. Let them see that God is performing miracles today. What started in 1998 as a small school in four classrooms is a major international school in Abuja today. And we're getting children from all over all over the world. That's God's doing. Thank you very much for tuning in today and God bless you.